as we gather to celebrate the marriage of Paul and Alicia. Traditionally, a bride was given away by her father, sometimes along with a cow and four goats. <laughs> Alicia's dad, Kim, knows that he isn't giving her away today because... Like she... hell. <laughs> 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 it's not refundable, all right? <laughs> not giving her away today, <laughs> that she'll always be an integral part of his and Carrie's life. But today, two families, two dads and two mums are coming together to officially bless this legal union of two adults who are very much in love and to let, uh, formally and officially welcome them into the family. And so I'm now going to ask Carrie, Neil and Linda to come forward too. So, Kerry and Kim, Neil and Linda, Paul and Alicia would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your never-ending love and your support. They are a living testimony to your love and your commitment, and they'll always love and honour you. And so as you now formally and officially welcome a new son or daughter into your hearts and into your lives, we ask you, who officially bestows their blessings of love on these two people? We do. we do. We do. Thank you so much. No, you don't get to say <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Would you like to give him a kiss? Thanks, <laughs> mate. Thanks, mate. So, let's get married. Let's get let's married. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, you look so beautiful. I can't take my eyes off you. She does. Oh. There's a really beautiful description of love that reads... Love strengthens the heart, it repairs the hurt, it encourages the discovery, enlightens the mind, it dissolves the pain, banishes the loneliness, understands the anxieties, increases the joy, deepens the spirit and it frees the soul. My name's Julie Gore and I'm honoured to be here today to officiate as Paul and Alicia, two people who have found such a love promise their hearts and their lives to each other for forever. They know each other well, and they trust each other well. And on this day, they'll declare their love for each other in front of the people they love, most of, the, most of all the world, that's all of you, their family and friends, who you're all so dear to them. We're going to begin this ceremony with some really lovely words, which will be read by Lakeisha Johnson. These are the hands of your best friend that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow and forever. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children and that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. 
These are the hands that will love you passionately and with the slightest touch comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy, and that will give you strength when you can't do it alone. These are the hands that will give you support and encouragement to chase down your dreams and hold you tight as you struggle through the difficult times. These are the hands that when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. So traditionally, once again, couples have met at bars and at nightclubs and dances and the like, but like so many couples nowadays, Paul and Alicia met online. When they first saw each other in person, they said that they liked what they saw. <laughs> and Alicia said that she knew in an instant that she could work on Paul's wardrobe. Because <laughs> she said he was a bit of a bogan at the time. And she was able to, she said that it's all good. He's now, a, how did she put it? A perfect big bogan now. <laughs> they talked and they talked at that first meeting. And they said that it felt easy and natural, just like it's meant to be and they knew pretty quickly that they'd found the one. They enjoy the same sorts of things. They said a glass or a couple of glasses or sometimes a full bottle or, or two of wine in the courtyard with their adorable babies, Jai and Ruby. They said that they just love being together because everything they do is better when they do it together. Paul did the romantic on one knee proposal in the kitchen of all places. <laughs> And Elisa was shocked because she thought <laughs> she thought he was acting a bit strange and that he'd done something wrong. <laughs> so she was thrilled. She said, yes, of course. And she was relieved that there was nothing wrong all at the same time. <laughs> they've survived a few challenges together over, along the way. And they've supported and loved each other through it all. And they know that they can face whatever comes along in their future, just as long as they're together. So as Alicia said, let's do this, shall we? As an authorised civil celebrant, in order for your marriage to be legal in the eyes of the law, I must repeat these words. I'm duly authorised by, uh, authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law before you are joined in marriage in my presence. And in the presence of these witnesses, I'm to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship you're now about to enter into. Marriage according to law in Australia is the union of a man and a woman to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. And so, young Paul, <coughs> do you take Alicia to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise to share your life openly, standing with her in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and to love her for as long as you both shall live? I do. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, to witness that I Paul, Daniel Paul Daniel Hutton, take thee, take thee Alicia Kim Coleman, to be my lawful wedded wife. Alicia from the moment I met you. Alicia from the moment I met you. I knew I had found my one true love. I knew that I found my one true love. You have renewed my life. You have renewed my life. Today I join that life with yours. Today I join that life with yours. Alicia, do you take Paul to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you, <laughs> do you promise to share your life openly, standing with him in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and to love him for as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I call upon the persons here present. I call upon the persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Alicia Kim Coleman. Alicia Kim Coleman. Take thee, Paul Daniel Hutton, Paul Daniel Hutton to, be to be my lawful wedded husband. Paul, from the moment I met you, Paul, from the moment I met you, I knew I'd found my one true love. I knew I'd found my one true love. You've renewed my life. You've renewed my life. Today I join that life with yours. Today I join that life with yours. Rings have been given and received by lovers throughout time, we all know that. Many ancient cultures saw that circle as the symbol of eternity with no beginning or end. But the hole in the middle of the ring also had significance. It wasn't just considered a space, but rather an, a gateway, leading to things and events both known and unknown. And so Paul and Alicia, as you give and receive your wedding rings now, you step into the known and the unknown together, committing 
to love one another for forever. The Unjai, may we still now we now may we now have the rings. Clever boy. Just <laughs> Well done. You got it? Who tied that one on? Okay, you do it. We have a knot. We have a knot. No, no, no. Okay, okay well genius. done. Excellent. Well done, little buddy. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Clutch can stand. Good boy. Well done. This ring is a token of my love. This ring is a token of my love. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As I give you all that I have. As I give you all that I have. And all that I am. And all that I am. That wedding ring is just gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Good ring. This ring is a token of my love. This ring is a token of my love. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As I give you all that I have. As I give you all that I have. And all that I am. And all that I am. Right, man. <laughs> well done. Paul and Alicia, by your love for each other, which is so clear for everyone to see. By the vows you have exchanged, and by the integrity of your commitment in the presence of the witnesses here gathered, it's my very great honour to announce you as husband and wife. You may kiss your beautiful bride. Yay!